It's time for business news with Richard Southern and with our grocery bills climbing higher and higher each month, pressure is mounting on the Canadian government to take action, Richard. Sure is. Hi, Erica. There are calls now for a parliamentary probe into those sky high prices at our local grocery store. The federal NDP today says it wants to see the government look in to these rising prices to find out if the major grocery chains are taking advantage of the inflation situation and are gouging customers. That's what the NDP wants to know. Are the grocery chains raking in excess profits? Now, the cost of groceries is up almost 11% on a whole this year from last, according to Stats Canada. But many individual staples like meat and cooking oil and coffee have surged more than that. Yet, Canada's big three grocery chains have all posted increased profits in their most recent financial reports. Now, Loblaws and Metro, they attribute that to a rise in pharmaceutical sales, but the NDP say they still want the matter locked into. Erica, it's not clear if the government will support the calls for the probe, though I'm sure many Canadians would be interested to see the matter looked into. Mm, okay, the cost of groceries and other items is expected to rise even higher in the coming weeks. And that's all tied to the slumping loony, Richard. Guess where the loony's been going, uh, Erica? It's been taking a nosedive the past few days. It's down now to 72.85 cents U.S. So it takes like almost a dollar and 38 cents Canadian to buy one U.S. dollar. It's way down the loony from the 80 cents it was at in March. And yeah, it could mean all sorts of things are going to cost us even more. You know, if you're buying products out of the United States, you're now paying more Canadian dollars to get the same product. And of course, at some point, that is going to be passed on to Canadians. So this could be more money for everything from the aforementioned grocery store to even alcohol and electronics. Uh, the flip side, though, Erica, is that Canadian goods look much more attractive to consumers in the U.S. But, of course, many people are watching the falling loony closely right now. Right. OK. And there's all this um, talk about rising prices and it comes with the biggest spending season of the year just around the corner. I can't believe it. Now, I imagine you're pretty organized, Erica. Are you thinking about your Christmas shopping already? I always do it at the last minute. I'm not organized oh, good. when it comes to that. Yeah. Good. We're saying these like that then. Uh, you and I will be out in the Eaton Centre at uh, 5.30 Christmas Eve. Um, many people, though, are thinking about what they're going to spend this year. And with the cost of everything rising, many are anticipating maybe spending a bit less this Christmas season. New survey out says the average Ontarian will shell out about $663 on gifts this year. 40% of Ontarians say they're likely to purchase a gift secondhand. People are going to be looking at thrift shops and secondhand from online retailers more than ever before. 78% of respondents here in Ontario say they'll try and shop for gifts when big sales are on. Black Friday could prove a very big day this year, Erica, with inflation taking the cost of everything right. higher. You got to get more creative, got to stretch that dollar, right? I'm going to make you something homemade, Eric, some macaroni, oh. uh, you know, and glue or something like Looking that. Looking forward to it. I'll put it on my fridge.